and on the conveyor belt tonight. A tangled man or a spectrum user. A guidebook to Paris. A selection of fruit for an apple user. A man fishing for compliments. It's a Dragon 32 user. And what we got here? A collection of Arctic <laughs> tips. <laughs> Ink word. A unique way to learn a language. That's what it says here anyway. Imagine, for example, the Italian for cat is gatto. You'll be asked to imagine a cat eating a large gatto. That'll get you by, won't it, next time you're in Rome? Okay, so we're looking at now Tansoft's language and utilities and some games. Um, the set is it, it, uh, you know, Italian, French, German, Spanish. The Italian one that I can't find at the moment, it's in our language lab somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I've never seen any variants on this, guys, and these are the only Tansoft titles, as far as I know, that came out in a video style case. I've not seen variants on those. Let me know if you know of any. So that's those covered link words. They're quite popular, they came out across a whole range of micros. I know the BBC have got a lot of link word tapes. Whether they came out for the Atari, I'm not sure. Um, Grunberg system or something, so I understand. Um, what else was released in terms of serious software? Well, we've got the Auric CAD. Auric CAD computer ready design. I've just got the, the one clamshell version of that. But it's, it's odd, isn't it, how sometimes a company would say release a serious piece of software um, in that style casing, like the Oric monitor as well, machine code monitor, but then also do a bog standard cassette version of it, like that, rather than the clam shell case. 16K, 48K, Atmos, Oric 1, there seem to be the differences there. So there's at least two versions of Oric Mon. But as far as I know, CAD never came out in this format. Again, if you look at the word processor author, I only am aware of this variant in the clamshell case. I've never seen that, say, in that size case. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, guys. Stand to be corrected. Auric Calc, well, the only difference I've seen here is that some later versions just have this Auric Atmos compatible sticker on. And that started to appear on a few labels and a few software houses that suddenly start telling these worried Atmos owners if they were compatible or not because the press had a load of scare stories that only so much of the Oric 1 software would run on the Atmos with the new ROM and of course that was true so the, the label helped users find a way for the minefield fourth then, another language um, <coughs> comes out in the, um, the clamshell case with a, with a booklet by the way, some of these appeared with manuals, separate manuals that went with them as well. Uh, but then there's this version, this lurid green, pea green label. Why the hell would you produce a tape in that colour? I just get the impression that something somewhere went wrong at the printers, I might be wrong. I can't imagine why Oric would ask for that colour scheme and that old fashioned looking label there. So at least two different variants of fourth, I'm only aware of one of author. Auric Calc, only a subtle difference with an extra label on there. Auric Mon, two versions. Auric Cad, one. This one, Auric Base. Um, there it is in its clamshell. There it is in grey. Right, okay. Auric Base, two copies, two different copies so far. Blue, white, and black version there, Auric Base. But looking like a, a more like an Atmos style label. And then there's this one, but I think this is cheating a bit. I don't think this is a tan soft one. I think, although looking at that, that looks very, very tan soft. Uh, and maybe ASN Diffusion were um, licensed to produce it under license in France. Bit of a bland grey label, that one. But Auric Base, same title. Is it the same software? We'll have to check that out, or do you know already, Steve? Check that out, I think, at some point. Possibly up to four different versions of Auric Base. Um, where are we going next? Oh, a quick run through the remainder of the game software, guys, because like you see here, this sort of mid-80s range of Oric software with the yellow and blue and white band. Oric Munch came out as well to join that set. But as far as I know, you never ever got a clamshell version like you did of House of Death 
okay, which was also in that series there. So white again, sometimes they came out as a standard cassette and sometimes they came out as a clamshell. I don't know, it seems a bit hit and miss, a bit random, I don't know. Can anybody explain that? I have no idea. Why did some of them appear like that? 